What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the little Uzi Vert, uh, the X Tour Life, a music video intro kind of thing. And I've replicated that effect in Final Cut Pro 10 and I'll show you guys this effect right now. So let me go ahead and push play so you guys can see the effect we're gonna be doing in today's tutorial. So that right there is the effect that I'm going to show you guys how to do. It's pretty much this really cool, well first no, we're not going to be doing this part, but uh, the part that comes right after with the text, especially this font right here. This one is a custom font, uh, you know, the font itself you can download and I'll leave the link to everything that I'm going to be editing in this tutorial down in the description of this video. Shout out to Beats Era for this awesome, awesome soundtrack that he produced. Uh, we have our video here, it's ready to go, right? Let me go ahead and mute the track as well. So we have something that looks like this, right? We have our music video. Let's say this is our own music video. Of course, I only borrowed this to show you guys what you would apply this effect to, especially music videos, it just looks awesome. Now, this effect looks way better when you film it in this kind of lighting in this scene, and you can see in uh, Congratulations by Post Malone. I know it's not a little Uzi Vert music video, but you can see, uh, you know, how you can apply this to different music videos and you can get that same look and it looks absolutely amazing. It looks beautiful. So drag that right on top of your video here and you're going to have this uh, link right here. Be sure to subscribe to them. So from here, I'm also going to go ahead and just cut this to about here and I'm going to delete the rest. Okay. So delete the rest and then select the green screen effect and go into the uh, effects browser and go into the all video and audio. Go to the search and just look up Kier. Now I've already made a tutorial on this. It's very easy. Just drag the Kier right on top of the video and that will get rid of the green screen. However, the video that we have downloaded has a letterbox or the black bars. So when we add that green screen effect, it's going to overlap and it's not going to look real. We can replicate that letterbox by applying a letterbox to our green screen effect. So go back to the effects, go to the all video and audio and go and search up letterbox and it should pop up. So drag that right on top of your clip and you're going to have very small black bars, but go into the inspector window. What I always do is just, I always keep the letterbox on top. So if I push play, we have this really nice fog or smoke effect into or on the video there. And it looks super nice. It looks like it's part of the actual music video. We press command six and it's going to take you to the color uh, board here. Change the global color to like maybe purple or something that will match the lighting or the color in this case pink. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of look for that pinkish color as you can see right there and that fits perfectly. Uh, now if it's too dark like this, it might be a problem, but we can always lower the opacity on the fog, which is what we're going to do. So select the green screen effect, go ahead and I'm going to make this a little bit lighter of effect right there and I'm going to go back and go on to the opacity. So right here under the compositing, lower the opacity just a tad, but not too much. I don't know, like maybe maybe 55 around 55, like 50 to 60 would be like the, the, the perfect place. And if I go ahead and push play, this is the effect that we're going to get. Uh, after we've done that, all we have to do is just add our text. So I have this one already pre-made, but uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it from scratch. I'm going to go to the text. I'm going to go to the titles. I'm going to go on to the custom. So look for custom, drag that to wherever you want it to start. I'm going to drag this right here because I want this to be like a pause. And then it and then it picks up where it leaves off uh, right here, which is the the start of the beat of that song, which is where I want it to start, which makes sense. Right. So I'm going to go to the custom and change the text here. So I'm going to change the text to Post Malone. And then the font is actually called Oyster Black. And it's currently a light. I think this is like a part of a font family. But just go ahead and make the size a lot bigger like that make me 140 drag this till it snaps in the middle next to the color select that white uh, little box there to change the color and we're going to change this to like a like a nice yellowish font like not font but like a yellowish color so something like that would be perfect so now if i go back and i compare the video you can see how close we're getting of course without the little drip effect there but you guys can easily do that in illustrator and photoshop and then just save that as a PNG and then import it into 
uh, a Final Cut Pro 10 and get the same exact effect there, which is freaking awesome. So I'm gonna make this actually a little bit bigger. Sweet, so once we're done with that, the next thing we have to do is add the uh, this kind of stuff right here. So, you know, the trademark and all that stuff. So, uh, instead of having to do everything, just select the text, press Command C and Command V to paste that video right on top, or the text on top. Now I'm gonna change that font to Helvetica New, or Helvetica, whatever font you wanna use. I think Helvetica New looks a little more cleaner and nice. And I'm gonna change that to bold. And I'm gonna change the color to white. So click on that, I'm gonna click on this, and click on white. And I'm gonna make that size really small. And then to get that copyright symbol, I think it's option G. Yeah, it's option G or alt G on the Mac, of course. And then just drag this like in the corner somewhere like that. So we're gonna go ahead and make another copy. So command C and command V. And this time we're gonna change this one right here, which is pretty easy to do. I think it's called Off White. It's a trademark. I think that's a clothing brand. I'm not too sure, but you guys can change this text up if you want to whatever you guys want. So I think the uh, symbol for the Trajan 2 or Alt 2. All right, guys. So if you can't get that symbol, the trademark symbol, just go online and look up trademark, the TM logo, and, and then just copy that and then paste it into the text line here. It should be Option or Alt 2. But I guess that's not working, but just go ahead and play around with it until you get it just right there. Just add this little video clip text there. So to do that, it's very simple. If you've ever worked with text, it's the easiest thing, probably my favorite thing to do here. So I'm gonna drag this like, I think it's like up here somewhere. And I'm also gonna change the size of this to, and this is like somewhere around here, something like that, right? Uh, maybe more like right here, maybe a little bit smaller in the text. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is make another copy, Command C, Command V, paste that right on top, and just do the same exact thing right here, off white, all of that crazy stuff. Uh, for this case, I'm just gonna, you're just copying and applying the same text over and over again. All right guys, so once you have everything added in the text like this, you know, you made a copy of all the text, it's very simple, you just make the text smaller and just position them just like that. So uh, once you're done with that, if we go ahead and push play with the music, this is what we should have so far. All right guys, so once you're at this point right here, all you want to go ahead and do is just select the text, which is pretty much uh, everything here at this point, except the Post Malone one. So you would select everything except the middle font here. Right click, choose new compounds clip and click OK. And you can test it to see if that's right, which is good. And then from here, all you have to do is add a dissolve transition. So it fades in and fades out once the, uh, you know, the video plays. So go to the transitions, go to the cross dissolve, drag that on here. And if we go ahead and push play, so it's gonna look something like this, which is what we want. And we also want to go ahead and Apply one to the green screen effect. So drag the cross dissolve here, and it should look something like this, which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna drag this right here. There we go, so now the text stays. We have that kind of flicker effect. So to do that, it's very simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and re-enable the audio so I can know where to actually cut the video. So right here is where I wanna cut it. I'm gonna zoom in on here, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a lot of cuts here. If you're using the same uh, music, then you wanna do this as well. Here I can just kinda of go like that, kinda of randomize it. You're gonna delete uh, every other frame, if that makes sense, but you're just deleting the text. It's a compound clip, so it deletes everything, so you don't have to do it for each one individually. That will just take forever. So if we go ahead and push play, it should look something similar to this. And you guys can, of course, make it longer if you want. Just bring this back up. So like I said, I mean, that's pretty much it for this effect. It's really easy, guys. It's really simple to do. It just looks super nice. It looks awesome. Like, you can spice up your music videos, whatever it is in this atmosphere, of course. It just looks nice. It looks perfect. Now, of course, this is, of course, an inspiration from Lil Uzi Vert's X tour life. And you guys want to go ahead and just kind of make it more unique to your guys' own music video. So be sure to turn on the bell notification and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.